Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We are doing the one month review on our EG4 12,000 XP wall mount battery bundle. We're gonna start with the batteries, a thing of beauty for sure. One of the things I really like about these batteries is they're just stress-free, no maintenance, you don't do anything with them. And just knowing that you can use 80% of these batteries, that's what the manufacturer says to use. There's a lot of people that say, go ahead and use 100%. The lead acid batteries we had in here before were so stressful because you only want to use the top 20% of the batteries to make them last as long as they will. And so on a cloudy day, you're telling the kids, don't run anything. You have to ration power like crazy. And it's so nice. These are just unlimited. It feels like you can just use and use. So let's go over some stats on the batteries after a month. So it's almost one o'clock. We're just about fully charged. So we've got battery one at 91%, battery two at 89%. They're charging pretty close to the same. They'll balance out completely once they get 100% charged. So this is super interesting. Cycle count is 16. We've been running it for 30 days and it's cycled 16 times. So at that figure, that's 192 cycles a year, which means if we round that up to 200 cycles per year, you take the 8,000 rated cycles of the battery, divide it by the 200, that's 40 years of using these batteries and they'll still have 80% capacity. So I don't know if they'll age out or what, but the cycles are not gonna be what ends the life of these batteries. If you cycle them every day, so 365 cycles a year, you'd end up with 20 years that you could be using these to get your 8,000 cycles. So these are amazing. I think they're gonna go a very, very long time. Really impressed with them. We got down to 25% on these is the lowest we've gone in the month we've been running them. And that was because we had some cloudy days. Now on the cloudy days, I didn't ration power. We were just mindful of it. We weren't wasteful. On sunny days, we're just wasteful. We're just turning everything on, running whatever, whenever, air fryers at midnight, laundry in the middle of the night. It's like city power with these batteries. It's pretty dang awesome. I love how cool these batteries are. They're not putting out any heat. Probably if you charge them really, really hard, they might put out some heat, but with 5,000 watts of solar coming in there, no heat at all where those lead acids so hot you couldn't touch them. So that's how you know these are more efficient. They're not wasting power by heating this room unnecessarily. So love the batteries. Let's move on into the inverter. So when I was telling my dad that I got a brand new inverter that I just hooked up, it's 12,000 watts. First thing he asked me was, how well does it run a skill saw? And the reason why he asked me that is because in the construction industry, whenever we went on a job site, we'd grab our worm drive skill saw and we'd plug it in, pull the trigger and see how much torque that thing had. And that's how we determined on if we had good power on the job or not. So here we are, there's a worm drive, 13 amp skill saw. Now this, because of the way it's made, it'll twist sideways. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a good solid twist. See that? That tells you you have really good power. On soft power, that thing will just kind of like brrr, 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 just kind of slowly wind up. But that solid yank. So there you go, Dad. It's good power. Since my last video, I tidied up the wires some more. Right here, look at that nice channel. This is PVC flanged wire guard U channel. I've got this on eBay. I'll put a link in the description. It comes in five foot lengths. Well, it comes in longer lengths too, but you can buy this in whatever various lengths and then you can get the various fittings set on there and then you can screw them on there. These are only in white and so you gotta paint them. So I painted that black, but I really like how that works. I just had my wires there, put it over the top, pop some screws in, done. There'll be links in the description for the inverter and batteries and also links to the spec sheets for these. So another thing that worked out really well in this inverter for me is it's got the 12 volt auxiliary out on here. And I use that to hook up to my 
solar water heater temperature gauges. As you can see, I have no battery cables coming out of the bottom of this. That's because I drilled a hole in the back of the inverter to feed the cables through the wall into the batteries on the other side. So when I drilled the hole, I wasn't sure if it would void my warranty or not, but I figured it was worth the risk because these inverters have been so good I haven't had any warranty issues and the cables would not reach my batteries unless I did that. So I took the risk and did it. I contacted Signature Solar afterwards and asked them if it voided my warranty and they told me it did not void my warranty. However, you do want to contact them before you drill a hole to make sure that it doesn't void your warranty and then you're definitely guaranteed that your warranty has not been compromised. They did mention that they've had other people drill in the back of the inverters. So it is something that does happen, but contact them first. So we've got 5,000 watts of solar coming into here right now. That's crazy. It's quiet. It was making just a little bit of a hum before, but it's so much quieter than the Outback stuff I had here. The 6,000 XP I had in here temporarily for a little while was definitely a lot louder. It does once in a while just really come on and blow really hard for like 30 seconds or something like that a couple times a day. One of the things I really like about having this in the house, for me, I always check the app to see what the battery percentage is and how things are doing. But the kids can come over here and just hit the escape, lights up the display, and they can see what's going on with the inverter in case they want to use extra power and I'm not here. So that's really nice having it right there in handy. Okay, now I'm gonna go over how much power we've used, how much has come in, how much has gone out. We're gonna start with our solar yield, which is right here. So we've brought in 756 kilowatt hours of solar in our 30 days. Our batteries have been discharged 321.1 kilowatt hours. Now here's the fun part right here is look at this. Feed in energy, zero, zero. We have fed in zero energy, pretty cool. And then here's our consumption. Today usage so far, 8.5 kilowatt hours. But overall we've used 619.1 kilowatt hours. So there's some, how much power we've gone through in the last month. How much power do you use? Drop your consumption in the comments. So I've still got a little more to do on here. I'm still just temporary wired in with my AC. I've got to button that up a little bit. PV's done, it's all looking good. And of course my very favorite thing right here, this green spinny light, gotta love that. Yeah, we're definitely spoiled. Unlimited power all the time. Hold back a little bit on rainy days, but sunny days, hog wild, all you can use. The craziest thing about having so much power is getting used to it. I've been on solar for so long and how the mindset works with solar is when the sun's out, we got unlimited power. When the sun's down, ration power. With this setup, it does not even matter. The sun's down, still just use tons of power because these batteries are gonna be 100% charged up the next day and it does not matter if you cycle them way down. In fact, just use them. They're gonna age out before you ever cycle them out. So I love the new setup, spoiling all the kids. Walk around the house, I don't have to be like, turn that off, turn that off. I'm like, ah, who cares? There you go. There's as loud as it gets. It just wound up, like I was saying, a couple times a day. It'll go like that. That's blowing pretty good. So this is part five of the EG4 12,000 XP wall mount battery bundle install series and this concludes the series i might do a six month or 12 month follow-up video we'll see but that wraps it all up ties it with the bow Thanks so much for watching. Catch you all in the next video.